ready. Do not be ignorant. Second Peter. Peter says, do not be ignorant. One day is a thousand years to man. One day to God is a thousand years to man. And he's like, so you sit in here and you think about this just for just a second. And you go back to Genesis 1 and, 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 and you remember the scripture that says the end is declared from the beginning. And you go all the way back to Genesis 1. And what does it say? The fourth day the sun was created to bring light to this world. And the 4,000th day God brought the Son of Man to this earth to bring light to this world. And you go, wow. Hosea 6 says, in the second day, I will revive my people. And when you go look up the word revive, he gives life. And on the sixth day, he breathed life into Adam. He gave him everlasting life. And just like. 2,000 years after the crucifixion and two days after the crucifixion and on the sixth day. <laughs> Tell me this ain't something amazing, y'all. On the sixth day or sixth thousandth day, Christ is going to give everlasting life again. Does this mean... This means everything must be fulfilled before the 6,000th year. And we know without a shadow of doubt, it's almost 2,000 years after Christ's death. Come on, y'all. Have a wonderful day. I hope y'all enjoyed that. Remember, everything is declared from the beginning.